Hello and welcome to the first episode of this Bristol Rovers career mode save. I'm Brom 18. I'm delighted that you can be joining me in this first episode. Hopefully many, many more to come. As you can see, jumping straight into it, uh, went into the lineup. I knew quite a few of the players, uh, not all of them. I'm not a supporter of, uh, of Bristol Rovers, so uh, I didn't have the uh, in-depth knowledge that you know uh, an avid fan would. Uh, but I knew a fair few, the likes of Daniel Ledbitter, Ellis Harrison, Stuart Sinclair, Lee Brown. Uh, so, you know, I had a fairly good basis to be working off um, and got straight into it really. Looked at the objectives, the objectives were to finish my table. I believe we can go one further. Let's hope maybe challenge for the playoffs, etc. Um, you know, so I went straight into it, had a look at the scouting, um, started shortlisting players, looked at the players that I felt needed transfer listing, there was quite a few that really weren't going to make the bill, um, but at the same time having said that, there was a few players who were really decent and I felt like originally there wasn't going to be much need to uh, to mess with the squad, there wasn't going to be any need to bring in many players, um, but you know, obviously you have to wait and see until uh, the transfer window uh, advances. Um, so without further ado, we're going to uh, skip on to skip the preseason and go straight to the first game of the season where I'll report on uh, my transfer uh, results. Hello everyone, welcome back. And today it is finally the first game of the season. Charlton away to kick things off. But first, let's have a look at the transfers that we made. It was actually a far, far busier uh, transfer window, at least so far. Than, uh, than what I expected it to be, um, both ingoings, uh, incomings even, sorry, and outgoings. First of all, we'll have a look at the incomings. Um, Mamatu Mdai for uh, around 300k. Um, he was in the last 12 months of his contract, so he was able to get him for much cheaper uh, than what he's usually valued at. Just under 3,000 in uh, in a weekly wage. Not bad at all. It was really the uh, the bit of bite that I felt that we were uh, lacking. 320k there. Um, the bit of bite that I felt that we were lacking. Um, you know. So he's gonna he's gonna add that. He's gonna be my defensive role. Uh, Harrison Dunk for um, to have a look. Just under 500,000 from uh, from Cambridge United. Again, the overalls of these players aren't as high as perhaps um, you know people usually in this division would would go about their, their business and bring in. But um, you know, he's personally tried and trusted by me. Uh, I've had him this year, I've had him last year. Um, you know, and he's and he's been fantastic. So high, high again, left mid and left back. He's you know versatile. Um, he's got a bit of pace. Uh, looking forward to using him, he'll fit into the system on the left side. John Marquis, I was really, um, really pleased to, to, to bring him in and for less than his value as well, just 700,000. I felt that we needed uh, a target man, uh, someone with a bit of physicality and he fits a bill just over £3,000 a week uh, in terms of a wage and again, um, I'm delighted to bring him in really, I was surprised that we could get him for so cheap. Abu Agogo, he was in his final year uh, as well, uh, contract-wise, so I was able to get him, get him for cheap, 350,000, despite his value being over 500k, uh, just under 3,000, I think, weekly wage, yeah, just under 3,000, again, high, high, a bit of energy, I'm not sure he's going to be a first-team player yet, we'll have to wait and see, um, you know, he's going to be rotation, I'm expecting that we're going to need a bit of rotation, um, and finally, Ben Brereton on a two-year loan from Nottingham Forest. He looks really good. Um, and we're able to share the wage as well. Just over 3000 I think his wage was uh, around 6 k maybe. Um, but yeah, we were able to half the wage, get him in on a two-year loan. It's quite pacey as well. Um, so, you know, we got a good few a good few options up front, certainly. Um, in terms of received offers, we've had a lot of offers come in. Um, but you know nothing really, um, nothing really concrete. Um, Rory Gaffney, we had an offer for him, but you know I wanted to hide in the value. I didn't transfer list him, um, but I wanted hide, so I wanted hide in the value. And uh, Shrewsbury weren't prepared to offer that. Tom Lockyer as well. Um, I had two bids for him: six hundred eighty thousand from Sheffield United, and then eight hundred fifty thousand from Ross County. But again, um, you know, it weren't meeting the valuation. I wanted over a million for him because he wasn't transfer listed. He's quite young, only 22. I was surprised. 
Um, you know, so and he's, I think he's you know, he's my second best rated player behind uh, behind lines, uh, and Billy Bowden as well. Uh, I didn't transfer list him either. Millwall came in seven hundred fifty thousand. I wanted the valuation, uh, and they weren't prepared to meet that. So he stays for now. But I am open to offers despite him uh, not being transfer listed. And finally, Chris Lyons. Birmingham have came with a bid of a million pounds. <clears throat> no, sorry, excuse me. Birmingham came in with a 800,000 bid. Uh, Chris Lyons, I didn't have him uh, transfer listed. I wasn't looking to sell him, so I asked for over a million. They offered a million. Uh, I've accepted it, uh, and now him and his agent are in talks with uh, Birmingham. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and if he does sell, uh, we'll have to see whether or not. You know, we, we'll bring someone else in. I might not even need a replacement if so I'll have a lot of money to work with. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, without any more delay, let's get into the first game of the season. In terms of the lineup, uh, gone for a 4 2 3 1 formation. I've decided to be conservative because of the fact that it's first game of the season. Slightly venturing to the unknown. Smith in goal, followed by Lockyer and Sweeney at centre halves. Uh, then we've got the tried and trusted Lee Brown, Daniel Ledbitter at fullback. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, then we got Dye and Sinclair as a holding mids, and Dye is going to be sitting deeper. He'll be sort of, you know, my protection for the uh, for the defenders. Um, and then Sinclair is going to be a more of a box to box midfielder. Then we got Duncan Moore on either side. They're both going to be energetic. Um, you know, they'll they'll come back on defence when when we don't have the ball, uh, and then they'll attack out wide. We'll look to get crosses into the box uh, lines. Despite the fact that he's uh, in talks to move to Birmingham, I've I've decided to uh, to keep him in the side just to see. Um, you know what we're missing, what we will be missing in case he goes. Um, you know, plus his stats are, are very good. Uh, and then I've gone for uh, Brereton making his debut up front, which means that there's not any space for uh, a couple of new signings, Marquise uh, and a go go so far. But uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. They might uh, feature at some point today. Off we go then. First game of the season. You know what? I'm going to start off. Um, just defensive, seeing as you know they're the home team, just to sort of experiment and see what you know Charlton are going to bring. I'm expecting them to, to go all out for it. Um, you know they're going to be looking for promotion this season. They're going to have a you know a fairly decent team in terms of ratings. So uh, we'll see it anyway. The one problem here with this corner is that there's not a lot of you know my real target men in, in the box. That's really cool. Until they got that challenge in. Oh, that's quality from Endai, that is. There's a feel to this Dunk finds Brown. Ah, defender, just needed a bit more power on that. Holmes. Marshall. Oh, what a look at Ah, oh, quality from Endai again. Now lines on the ball. Spots a run for more. I'm going to bang it from there. Oh, dreadful. Dreadful. Right, so that is half time, and that was <coughs> a really uneventful first half. Four shots to Charlton, one shot uh, for Bristol Rovers. You know what? I'm gonna have to. I might have to make a change here. Uh, no, actually, I'll leave it how it is for now. Find him back inside. Oh, come on! Throw him. Let's go. It'd be a great ball. Sinclair. Oh. On the volley. Yes. <laughs> what a banger! Absolute banger. <clears throat> So I have to keep clearing my throat as well. I feel like Sean Dodge. <coughs> Quality though from Stuart Sinclair. One touch bang. Nice, not bad at all. Captain as well. Lovely. I'm going to make a change. Um, as you see, the three attacking mids. Again, this is was sort of the problem I was alluding to earlier. This is where we're going to find... You know, a bit of problem in terms of the energy. Uh, I'm going to take more off. I'm going to take lines off as well. 
uh, and go for a go go. <clears throat> hi hi, you know, is it? I mean, his physical stats are fantastic. So you know, that's that's what we need, I think, especially in this situation. Um, so you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. I need to charge it. Oh no, that's poor defending from me. Oh Jesus, I got so lucky then. That was poor. Charlton are coming forward in full force now. They're going for this. Oh, what a save from Smith. One man resistance show this. It's textbook stuff. Well, that's been the story for this goalkeeper. Oh, he's punched it out. Could have done with him catching that. Yes, well played and die. Brilliant. Can we hit him on the break? Sinclair sent through Britain. Oh, it's a great touch. Come on, beat him for pace. Across the face of goal. Yes! Quality. Quality break away. <sighs> Billy Bowden might it, I think. Yeah. Not bad at all. He stakes his, uh, he stakes his claim for a first team place. Not bad at all. Restarting at 2 0. Nodded back, and I think that's going to be full time, and it is. And that is a good way to start the season. A 2 0 win away to promotion. Hopefuls Charlton. That is a fantastic victory. I'm really pleased with that. A, an absolute beauty from uh, from Captain Stuart Sinclair, and then topped off when Charlton committed a lot of men forward, and uh, you know, and ended up paying the price. And wow, I can't believe that. Only three shots. Apparently, one shot on target, even though he scored two goals. He must not include the, uh, the goals in that. I can't believe I never noticed that. Charlton, you know, understandably the better side. But, uh, you know, we took our chances, hit him on the break. A real away team performance. Absolutely buzzing with that. Not bad at all. Elsewhere in the division, you know, you can't really read too much into it, obviously, at this stage. But, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll press on with it. Oh, Derby County away in the League Cup. I'm going to play my League Cup games. You know, I know a lot of people choose not to uh, on on, uh, on career mode, but I'm, I'm a big fan of, of doing well in trophies in general, apart from maybe the Checker Trade Trophy, you know, because the Football League have decided to mess that up and, you know, bring under-23 teams into that. I'm not interested in that. But, um, you know, uh, I might might play that, but we'll see anyway. Um, transfer offer for Oli Clark. 500,000, 520,000 they've offered. Um, he's unhappy. He's not really part of my first team plans, to be honest. I'm happy to, uh, to accept that offer. Uh, hopefully he can, he can uh, agree terms with Charlton. Next game is Derby County away. I'm just going to go to the game. I don't think we're going to play it. I think we're going to uh, finish it there for the first episode. End on a, on a really good win. Chris Lines has been sold. £1 million uh, to Birmingham City. And the board have allocated 700000 to my transfer budget. So we're going to see. Um, I'll have a look around and see if we can uh, find any replacements. Rory Gaffney again. Uh, another offer for him this time from Barnsley. 420k again. Uh, I'm really looking for, uh, you know, for at least 480 as, um, you know, his market value there suggests he can go for. But we'll see anyway. Um, you know, we'll find out in the next episode. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. So if you made it through to the end, to this far, thank you so, so much. Um, you know, please, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. Um, you know, let me know what can be improved, uh, and hopefully I can expand this into uh, more episodes. But uh, for now, I've been Bromo18, um, and thank you very much for watching.